Good morning. It's 2.45 a.m. and I am not a morning person. And so what is it that gets me up at this hour? Well, a couple of weeks ago, I had uh, an email or correspondence through the internet with uh, Stuart Maddox and he was telling me of this massive rod that he just lost on a water that he fishes. And being an angler and a very keen angler, I understood and empathised with him immediately as soon as I read the uh, report that he gave me. But then he added, and if you'd like to come and join me, you're very welcome. So, 2.45am, what am I doing up at this time? I'm off to catch me a nice rod. Just uh, waiting for the kettle to boil, make my flask. Tackle's already uh, ready to load in the cart, put some of it in last night. Get my bait at the freezer, some sweet corn, and dead maggots, and I'll be on my way. You hear reports all the while, of course, of uh, people who catch uh, big fish or lose big fish. But Stu's one of those guys that uh, when he tells you he lost a, a three pound plus rod, then you know it's a three pound plus rod. And I think they are fantastic fish and the opportunity to even have a go for one is something that I am very much looking forward to. And of course to meeting with Stu as well. It's not just about fishing is it? The water that we go into is a uh, it's a beautiful venue by the uh, sounds of it and I'm looking forward to spending a day in good company and good surroundings and if I can catch a fish, a big fish, well really that would be a, that would be a bonus and I've just put too much water in my flask and it's overflowing. Where's my wife when you need her? Come on she should be up shouldn't she? It's only quarter to three. I've been fishing about two and a half hours. I would have recorded earlier, but it's been raining and this is the first break that we've had. It's been quite uh, hectic, literally a, a bite every cast and I've hit most of them as well. They've been predominantly small rod, but I have had a uh, few roach, a couple of nice ones as well, and uh, even a perch as well, all on sweet corn. I did actually strike into a, a fish that was a very good one. It went straight into some lilies and in spite of uh, the efforts that we made to try to get it out, it, uh, it came free. So I'm just telling myself it was, uh, it was a three pound tench and not a three pound roach or a three pound rod. But these things happen and that's fishing for you. Really enjoying it, it's a, it's a lovely place. I think the only thing I could say is that uh, to make it perfect, it wouldn't be raining in the way that it has been but the forecast is for it to hold back as the day moves on so that's a good sign anyway so hopefully we'll have a we'll have a great day and some good fish as well to show for it anyway i'm going to go and see Stu and see how he's doing okay well i'm just trying something different today for these um these larger larger rod. they do like surface bait so um i've chopped a, a mixer in half i'm using a size 10 hook and um, it's quite an exciting method actually, the, uh, you just usually see a big swirl and the line starts peeling off and that's the time to strike and uh, yeah, it does work, it definitely does work so if you, if you fancy giving that a go in a big rud water, give it a go, it's real good fun. <laughs> Following the initial uh, three decent fish that I had early in the morning, I've been catching small rud, roach, the occasional tench, uh, one after the other during the day, all very small fish, but it's 3.25 and I've just, uh, by perseverance, hooked into a, a nice roach. 
So, how about that? Lovely fish. Let's put it back. Just cast out again. And, uh, hoping to get a fish for the camera this time. I'm fishing sweet corn. I've been fishing that from the beginning of the session this morning. So it's been a long day, that's for sure. And uh, catching fish on such a regular basis has been, uh, been hard work. But I'm not complaining. It's not like work really, is it? It's fishy. Oh, I just missed that one. There we go, sweet corn. get one for the camera now. Yeah, here we go. Probably a rod. It took it quite early. And I'm just bringing it in. It's a rod. Just a small one. But, uh, Beautiful fish, aren't they? Must be one of the most beautiful of our coarse fish in this country. Well, Stu, thanks for today. It's been uh, it's been great. I really enjoyed it. So, thanks for inviting me to this water. No problem. And I've had a I've had a fantastic day and some uh, some great fish and Good. lots of highlights really. But I think the uh, the biggest highlight was when you went walking around the lake and I uh, hid your rod <laughs> <laughs> and then told you some kids had been messing around and uh, you thought they'd stolen it. So. Yeah. And you've got it a on camera fun. as well. Bit of fun, you? yeah. <laughs> got a picture of you standing there with your yeah. hands on your hips. So, uh, yeah. yeah, it's been brilliant. I've no, really it enjoyed has. it. Very enjoyable, Stuart. Yeah. As I say, it's been a privilege to meet you at, at last in yeah. the flesh. And um, it's a little, it's just a little thank you to say, yeah. sorry, it's a little trip to say thank you to you personally for uh, all, the, all the pleasure you've given me reading your blog over the years. So, um, I'm just glad you've had a good day. That's been brilliant. Yeah. Thank you very much. Indeed. Thanks, Stuart. Really appreciate it. You are. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>